it's Art Hall, like Andy Warhol. Art Hall. Performance art is now being taken further than ever before, into headier realms, realms of fantasy, of sexual identity, and the most bizarre role-playing. And the mistress of this realm? Oriel Spankel. You see, sex is the highest taboo for a lot of people. And yet, at the same time, it's the driving force behind the sexuality. Uh, you know, see, basically my performance forces the audience to be at one with the artist. Artist versus viewer, mm. you see. How many artists can actually communicate with the audience like that? No, it is, it is very confrontational, and yet at the same time, I mean, your work has frequently been described as excrement. Um, how, how do you feel about that? Well, I prefer excremental, you see. Every movement of excrement, every shit, right, is like a birth. And art is the platform that addresses these attitudes and ideas and repressions. This platform is not sacred. I think shitting on it from a great height introduces inroads into that sacrosanct sexuality. Mm, now, now you caused quite a buzz last year with uh, a very controversial piece. Can you take us through that? Well, I was surprised by the popularity of that. It was mostly with men. They are my primary audience. But, but why do you think it caused such a stir? It addressed the uh, feminine role-playing in a masculine-dominated society. Because, you know, we all wear a gender mask. Mm. And um, it was my honest intention to rip that genital mask off. And, and by doing so, um, reveal the nakedity of our raw emotions. And what was the piece called? Bone Me Up the Ass. It was a rite of passage piece. One of the most satisfying pieces about performance is that you've got your finger on the pulse, right? O only for a brief moment. But during that moment, you can actually see the gender mask slip off, and they have to confront and reconcile with their sexual identity. Yeah, it's very nice, actually. I, I like it. It's, it's a good uh, fabric. Kind of, very yeah. stretchy. Yeah, it's kind of, yeah, it's very, very um, lightweight as well. Mm. Yeah, it's great. I mean, it's very tight. But what would yeah. you use that for? Well, you know, it's a dress. You would wear it, generally. Right. Sweat a lot in it, though, wouldn't you? Oh, God, are you sure? Because I need really, it has to be reinforced. Solid as a rock. I mean, come on, this isn't funny. I mean, no, I really no, need... No, it was broken and now it's fixed. This... I don't know, I don't know, Claude. When I first talked to him, in fact, when I, when I talked about, about Claude, he was, uh, was, was in the kitchen just... Um, don't he, listen fact, cleaning... to Claude, okay? Right. Claude is not here to be heard. Claude is not even here to be seen. Claude is not here. As far as you were concerned, Claude is not here. So you don't think he's got an understanding of, of the work? Then? Claude is for me. Claude is my bounce, my... My masculine side. Um, you sold off as a glazier, I believe. Um, how on earth did you end up meeting Oriol? Uh, I used to do glazing for her mother uh, before the accident. Um, tables and stuff. So, what exactly is your function now, then? Uh, I, I help Oriol devise the, the work, and, um, and I fix anything that's broken. But I believe to some extent as well, you're also an archivist for work, aren't you? Yeah, Claude, go on, show him the film. Go on. What film? You know, don't be a dumbass. Go show him the film. Go on. You want to see that, do you? <laughs> I mean, it's my very first art film. I'm very proud of it. Go on. Claude? Are you sure Claude? About it? Of course I'm sure about it. I'm proud of this. Come on, it's really good. It's go pretty on. boring, aren't it? It's not boring at all. Claude, play it. Go on. Right away. You see, you see the lighting on this? This is amazing, right? This part right, uh, no, it's about to come up. Just pay attention, right? Over here. No, get out of the way, get out of the way, that one. Right here, right here. Look at that. My leg was cramped for weeks. I love this part. Look. You see the address, the address, the way he's coming, right at it, like that. Is that, is that a chihuahua? When I first experienced Oriole's work, to some extent I was still dubious about her motives and the effectiveness of her methods. But as one gets ever closer to the body of work, it reveals itself to have the impact of a bull in an art gallery. She's done more than turn the tables on the art world, she's smashed them to pieces. 
Right, are you turning over then? Mm -hmm. Right, we're going to just go in now. Oh, God knows, the whole thing collapsed. I, I, she's normally so careful. Collapsed on under her. Oh. Go on, get in there. Come on! Look, are you getting all this? 